was it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's a cool situation to come into, and um, you know just trying to get outs right away. I knew try try not to let the guy on second score, so just trying to get outs right away. Yeah, Pete. Whenever it was when you got picked in the Rule Five draft, could you imagine closing out the you know the games against the ALCS? Never. When did you start to you know sort of gain the confidence that you could you could do this over the course of the season? Um. Honestly, a lot had to do in Chicago after I gave up that walk-off home run. I was sitting in the bathroom, and Kike Hernandez came up, and uh, like I was down on myself. And Kike came up, and he was just like, "Hey, man, you've been huge for us all year. You can continue being huge for us." And so, like one, once he said that, that gave me a lot of confidence to go. And what was it like to be pitching in this atmosphere tonight, with you know the way the crowd was from the first pitch? Uh, a lot of fun. I uh, just. Uh, after we after we won, I took a second just to kind of step back and you know look at the crowd, look how everyone was reacting and cheering and everything. And so it was a lot of fun just to soak everything up and you know just enjoy the moment. And on your right, Chad here. You talked pregame about the the sort of the role Alex has had in, in building confidence and belief and all that. I wonder what was the atmosphere like in the dugout in between those innings when you're you're going back in and, and you all are waiting for that the run that eventually came. What was that atmosphere and what was Alex like in those moments? Couldn't tell you. I was focused on who the next hitters were and trying to get them out. Sorry. <laughs> and Bill on the left here. Uh, Garrett, I know there are little things inside a team, inside a clubhouse that, that serve as motivators. Uh, I couldn't help but notice there was some popcorn on the mound uh, at the end of the game. I wonder how much discussion there was about the Rays eating in the dugout before and just how this team has you know, sort of fed off criticism and, and slides throughout the year. Uh, I didn't hear anything about popcorn or anything like that, so I'm, I'm not sure about that one. Hey, right front, Ian. Garrett, when the Brazier had the tough, tough eighth inning, uh, you come in there, there's a guy in scoring position there. Um, just how, how fired up were you just to be able to keep the game tied, get your team out of that out of that situation right there? I was worried about just trying to throw up a zero in the ninth. Once AC said, you get, you got to keep going, that's that's all I was focused on. So just move on to that one. Yeah, we'll go right here. Hey, Garrett. I know you're a laid back guy, obviously, but you know in that situation, I mean, you know, a guy is second, no walls. Um, What's going through your mind? Are you nervous? Are you, are you, you know, is the adrenaline pumping? Oh yeah. <laughs> I would like to say it's not, but uh, it's it's definitely pumping, and, and you know the situation and everything. So I just try and take a deep breath and take it in and try and uh, execute a plan. Do so you have like butterflies or? Oh yeah. I mean, anyone that tells you don't, no, they're they're lying to you. <laughs> uh, Pete, on your left here. Pete, will you go back out for another one if they didn't score? Uh, if AC would have told me to, I would have gone out. Yeah, and, and as that inning's unfolding, how confident were you that one way or another you guys are going to find a way to get that run? Uh, I'm always confident in our lineup, our offensive power is a lot, and so you know every time those guys get out there, you know I'm very confident in their their abilities. How what, what was um, being in that pileup like for you? Anybody you know anything in particular that you remember? Uh, like I said, I just I soaked it all in. I, I watched it and. You know, just to, to see that, and especially it be my first year, it was it was a really neat moment. Two rows behind, Tyler. Yeah, when you were picked in the Rule Five, did you even really were you aware that that was going to be going on? Did you think you had a chance to get picked? I mean, how did that was that expected or shocking or what? <laughs> so I was actually working out at my uh, uh, strength place down in uh, Pelham, Alabama. It's called Tinsley Performance, and. Um, we were just doing a normal workout, and uh, Cal, our head strength coach, he, he said, hey, let's just take a second to turn it on and see what happens. And sure enough, I've heard my name. And you know, from that moment on, I, my goal was just make the team and you know go from there.